Hey guys, I'm Alastair from Trail and Kill. This is Champers. My other cat, Kobe, is behind the camera just licking his butt right now. And this is my Litter Robot 4 review. So this is the Litter Robot. This is one of the cats who's been using it. I have two Siamese cats. Um, they both share this automatic litter tray or litter box. And yeah, this video is very much complimentary to my in-depth review, which you should definitely check out. In there, I go into you know how this machine actually works, some of the um, more technical things that you should know about this machine. Also, what uh, clumping litter I use because you can opt for the um, the Whisker Premium litter, but that's quite expensive. And I've got another one that's dust-free, traps the odor, is clumping, does everything the same, but a lot cheaper. Uh, so definitely go check that out, and you'll find out which litter I recommend for this Litter Robot 4. In this Litter Robot 4 review then, I'm going to explain what the Litter Robot is, how it works, who it's for, whether the cats liked it initially, um, whether it's noisy, whether you smell the pet waste that goes into it, and generally my day-to-day -day experiences because I've been using the Litter Robot 4 for about two months now, so I've picked up on a few things that you might want to know about. Uh, so definitely keep watching this video to the end as I also demonstrate a cycle because I managed to catch the cat doing their first business in the Little Robot 4 on a security camera which I set up in front of this. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's interesting how it works and it's interesting how the, the cat kind of approaches it and basically their first impressions of it and whether they actually wanted to use it because if your cat doesn't want to use this then this product's not for you. And if that is the case, then there is a very good returns policy. And that's a very important thing to note because if your cat doesn't get on with it, they just don't get it and they don't understand and they need to go to the toilet in there, then there is a 90 day free return period. So you can rest assured that you can try this Litter Robot 4 and return it if it doesn't work out for you and your cats. Okay then, let's start off this Litter Robot 4 review by asking the question, what is the Litter Robot for and how does it work? Why would you actually want to get this? Because it is quite expensive. Um, why do you need it over a traditional litter box? Okay then, so the Litter Robot 4 is essentially an automated or automatic litter box for your cats. So what it's going to do is take care of treating your pet waste, uh, making sure it doesn't smell out your home, um, it clumps it within the clumping litter and then drops it into the waste tray down below. Now I'm using my Litter Robot 4 with two cats and on average I have to empty the Litter Robot 4 about every 10 days uh, or so, which is remarkable because before I had this product we would be emptying the litter trays, the traditional litter tray, uh, once a day and it would take about five minutes to do that. If you go read the full in-depth review on trailandkale.com, I've actually worked out how many hours, how many days, and how many weeks I've been clearing, shoveling cat poo for my cats. I mean, I love them, but if I literally been shoveling cat poo for more than two weeks, uh, there's something wrong there and I don't think that's the best use of my time. So. I was super excited to get hold of one of these litter robots uh, to see if I could save me that time, get me that time back so I could be doing something more useful with that time. So definitely go read that, go find out um, how long I've been shoveling crap for these cats. And I've also put a little equation on there that you can use so you can find out how much time you've wasted as well by shoveling poo for your cats. <laughs> so that's essentially what the litter robot for is. How does it work? Well, I say it's quite simple, but it's not actually that simple. There's a lot of clever mechanics and engineering going into this uh, automated litter machine. But essentially what happens is your cat will walk up this step, go into the machine, and when they go in the machine, they cross the threshold, um, go into the globe, they trigger a sensor at this point when they cross this threshold that signals the machine to stop what it's doing. Don't do any uh, clean cycles. Don't start spinning because the cat is here. 
pokes it, it's poked his head in. He's having a look, seeing what's going on, and he's about to use it. So at that moment, it stops. Then when the cat goes into the globe, it puts pressure on the, the litter bed, which is where the litter is. I'll show you that in a bit. Then it can do things like weigh your cat. So it actually knows how heavy your cat is before it goes to the poop. And then it measures the weight again afterwards. So it knows basically how heavy the poo was and how heavy your cat is. And it can track that data over time. So you can see if your cat is healthy over time. So that's great. And that's also on that point is really great because I know which cat goes to the toilet when because of those weights, because my cats are different sizes. They're brothers, but one's bigger than the other. So I can work out which cat goes to a toilet when. And that's a really cool function, I think. Okay, so the cat goes in, he steps on the litter, uh, he gets weighed. The cat then does its business, whether it's a number one or a number two, a pee or a poo. Then when the cat leaves, the machine sensors knows that it's left and then a countdown will happen, which you can change from the Whisker app. I've set my cycle delay to be three minutes. Oh, look, look. He might use the toilet. Okay, no, he's just coming to say hello. But um, if he does use it, I will pause and I will watch, well, I'll let you watch what happens with a machine because it's pretty cool. Use it. I won't watch. I won't watch. Just everyone on YouTube will. They can watch you poo. Go on. So yes, as I was saying, I have set my cycle delay to be three minutes, which basically means when the cat leaves the litter robot four, that countdown will happen three minutes and then the clean cycle will happen. And what that basically is doing is ensuring there's no cat inside. And if you've got another cat, then they could potentially go to the toilet after the first cat goes in and then the clean cycle could happen all at once and clump all that pet waste at once. Um, so that cycle happens all at once. I set it to three minutes because my cats do go at fairly similar times of day. So I want the litter robot four to be clean for both cats. Now I've set the cycle delay to be three minutes because my two cats like to go quite regularly um, around the same time each day together. So they don't go together, but one will go first and then the other one will likely go to the toilet within, I don't know, 10 minutes of each other. So having the cycle delay set to the shortest, which is three minutes, has a few benefits. Number one being both cats get a nice clean bed of litter to use because the first cat will go, maybe it's Kobe, this cute little Siamese here. He'll step out, three minutes later the cycle happens and then, I don't know, maybe a few minutes after that, Shampers will come along, he'll need the toilet and he'll use the Litter Robot 4 and it's all clean for him so he can use it and that's nice knowing that he's not stepping in the other cat's waste um, and then potentially tracking that through the house. So that's one benefit. Second benefit is that having a shorter delay cycle means that the waste gets clumped much sooner and dropped into the waste drawer much sooner. And that's where the odor is kind of locked away. So the benefit being you don't smell out your house with cat waste because it gets sealed up, clumped much sooner and stored away in the drawer. So I'd recommend playing around with that setting in the app, um, depending on whether you have one cat, two cats, three cats, or, or however many. So definitely play around, see what works for the routine of your cats. Now, I've been using the Litter Robot 4 for a couple of months now. Well, I haven't personally been using it, my cats have been using it. <laughs> um, and it's been really good on the whole, it's been excellent. I've just not had to think about cleaning the cat's poop up, which has been great. Um, and it just does its thing without me thinking about it. It's very quiet as well. I don't smell any odors. So it's literally, if it wasn't for its physical presence, I wouldn't know it was there because it just does its job. Um, and I can just 
go on living my life, not have to worry about cleaning up cat poo or pee. So for those reasons, I mean, this is a brilliant product and it does everything that it's advertised to do. So I've been really happy with it so far. Um, cats had no trouble knowing that this was where they need to go to the toilet. Oh, he loves this little chin scratch. Ooh, does your cat like chin scratches? Drop a comment down below. Let me know if they like chin scratches or maybe an ear scratch, back of the ear. Occasionally then I will definitely check the litter robot for just to make sure there's no mess because sometimes cats do have diarrhea and I have noticed that sometimes that diarrhea can get on the side of the machine. Um, in which case you will need to just give it a spray with your all surface cleaner and give it a wipe down just to keep that clean. Um, this doesn't happen very often, maybe, I don't know, five days, every seven days, something like that. They'll have a funny stomach. Um, and they'll make a little bit of a mess in there and sometimes the clumping just doesn't catch that runny poo. So yeah, I go in and clean it just to make sure, but that's very sporadic. And most of the time, the Litter Robot 4 handles that absolutely fine. Again, the Litter Robot 4 is pretty much odourless. I'm sitting right next to it now and I can't smell anything. Um, I've got a waste drawer full of cat poo that's been clumped in the litter and pee, and I just can't smell it. So I'm gonna show you how to sort of empty this in a minute. It is full of poo. Um, so I left it like that so that I can demonstrate how I empty it, how I put a, a new plastic uh, trash bag over the, um, the waste drawer as well so that it's ready to do its thing the next time a cat does a poo. The Litter Robot 4 has got a few cool features on it. I really like how the Litter Robot 4 has lighting within it. So at night when you don't have the lights on in your house, there are a couple of little LED lights that point down inside the globe onto the litter so the cat can see where they need to go to do their business. Um, yes, cats I'm sure have pretty good eyesight in the dark anyway, but it's nice because I can see as well that the Litter Robot 4 is clean and it's ready um, without having to turn the lights on at night. Uh, so that's a nice feature, I really like that. You can turn that on or off in the app if you don't want to use it. I think it's called night mode or something like that. Okay then, this is a really quick demonstration of how I empty the waste drawer on the Litter Robot 4. It's very simple. The waste is in this little step here. Very easy to get out, you just pull it. Ta-da! And you can see it's quite a big drawer. That's full of clumped litter. Uh, very easy. So I'm actually using some bags that um, aren't from Whisker. Uh, so they are a little bit tight on the drawer. Uh, I just didn't want to get pay a premium price for the bags, so I'm just using some that I got in my local um, store. I think it's CVS, somewhere like that. But anyway, you just take it off the edges of the box, like so. And then you just do up your bag. And you're good. As soon as you've done that, you've got a nice big bag of poo. And then to, I like to store the bags underneath inside the tray. So that when you empty it, you're ready to go. You've got another bag in there. Um, so anyway, then all I'm doing is putting the bag around that tray. Once again, as I mentioned earlier, these bags are a little small really for this. So I am just pulling it tighter and stretching it over. But you know what? They're pretty cheap bags, fits pretty well. So then all you do, slide it back in and you're done. So I basically do that around every 10 days, I believe. Um, 
If there is no issues with the cat doing a sloppy poo on the side, where well, I do have to just quickly wipe it down, then I don't have to touch this machine for 10 days. It literally just takes care of cat waste, pet waste for me. Now the other thing to know about the Little Robot 4 is it's very quiet. Uh, the spin cycle or the uh, cleaning cycle is very slow and the motors inside are just super quiet. I hardly hear it going when it's happening. The only way I know it's done a cycle is my phone gets a notification or my Apple Watch will pop up and say, your cat did a poo. And that is quite funny to see when you're not at home, when you're out at the pub or something and the uh, cat does his business. It's a talking point for sure. <laughs> I'm now gonna run a manual cleaning cycle so you can get an idea of noise levels, um, how long the cycle takes, and actually how it actually works, what it looks like inside the globe as it's doing this cleaning cycle. It's actually quite mesmerizing. So hopefully you'll get an idea of noise levels, how it works and how long it takes. Here we go. This is the stage where the litter robot sifts through the litter. It will separate your clumped pet waste with the clean litter. Then that litter waste will actually go into, drop down into that hole, which goes straight into the waste drawer. The clean litter has been separated. So now the litter robot four is spinning the other way to put that clean litter back so that the cat can use it. Now you can start to see the clean litter coming back through. told you this was mesmerizing. Oh yeah. And that's it. Well, I really hope you enjoyed watching this Litter Robot 4 review. Hopefully it gave you some insights into what it's like to actually own one of these, um, whether your cats are gonna be using it, how quiet it is, uh, how you don't actually notice it when it's in the house, and it just gets on with its thing like a good little robot should do, and gives you more time to do more of the things you want to do yourself, which is not shoveling crap. Sorry, cats. I love you, but I just, don't want to be shoveling your poo all the time. Thanks, champs. Again, thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Consider subscribing to our channel for more gadget reviews like this. And we'll see you next time for the next gadget video.